Of course I'm excited to see Harry Styles. It's Harry Styles. Yeah, I'm excited to see Harry Styles, besides the fact that I have to drive the whole way. I think I'm most excited about not driving. I'm most excited to see Harry because, I don't know, I kind of want to see him do a little dance. Hopefully he's wearing something sparkly, maybe a little vest. That'd be cool. Um, ah, I'm just a big Harry guy. What did I do to prepare? I got my eyebrows done. I packed some snacks for the car. I shaved my vagina. Hopefully he plays maybe a One Direction song. That'd be, that'd be cool. When I was younger, I was more of a five sauce girl, to be honest. Um, Michael is my favorite. Kinda, kinda out of character considering my boyfriend looks a lot like Luke Hennings, but I never had a fan account for One Direction. I really liked One Direction, but I was more of like a Dan and Phil fan account, Five Sauce fan account girl. Yeah, I had a fan account for Lana Del Rey when I was 13 on Tumblr. Edits, I did everything. <laughs> I think we're ready to go after I just got robbed. And they stole my f***ing tripod, so that's why my boyfriend is holding the camera because we didn't have anything to set my camera on. It is so heavy. <laughs> my arms! <laughs> <laughs> that's for you, Harry, and no one else. What the f Do you have anything else you wanna say? Yeah, I got a fresh haircut for the concert, maybe to catch Harry's eye. I was hoping to, that he would've taken me on the tour bus, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, anything else? <laughs> no, that's it. Testing. I got these new little mics to be fancy. I hope they're working correctly. Um, this trip is already starting off a lot different than we planned. My f car got broken into last night. I have a garage at my apartment. I told Jens to go get the car out of the garage and pull it closer to my actual apartment door so we could start loading our stuff in um, instead of having to carry it all the way down through the garage. He opens the garage and my trunk was open, my brights were on, and my blinker was on. All my shit is gone and thank god that I a couple months ago made the decision to take a lot of stuff out of my car just in case my car actually ever gets broken into which I never thought that it was going to because you just don't ever think that those kinds of things are going to happen to you um, but they did. They stole Jen's skateboard that was in my trunk. I had just like a bag full of like, uh, I had like a helmet in there, like knee pads, like skating shit. Luckily my skateboard wasn't in there. Sorry. They took my registration papers. I just got my car registered uh, like two months ago. They took um, two pairs of sunglasses. They left my third pair of sunglasses. I always keep the sunglasses in my car. They took two pairs. One pair was just out on the concrete. My vaccination card was on the uh, on the concrete. Thank God they did not take that because you need to show proof of vaccination to get into the Harry concert. Or you can get a COVID test, but since I'm already vaccinated, I obviously would just rather do that. What else was taken? Oh, I just got a new film camera that's from the 70s. I had a bag that it came with that I left in here because I took it to my parents' house yesterday to have my stepdad look at it because he knows a lot of shit about cameras. So I left the bag in my car. I didn't leave the camera in there, but they took the bag, which had the manual in it, which is upsetting for me because I didn't know the manual was in it. Jens knew the manual was in it but I have searched the whole internet for a manual on this camera and there's not one. I really wanted to look at that. F you to whoever stole all my sh um, This is the camera that I was talking about. She's safe and sound. I just cried for like 30 minutes. Not even because I got my stuff stolen, but it's just really scary to think about like such a big invasion of privacy of someone like breaking into your car in the middle of the night and like taking all of your shit. And now I'm just going to feel really, really unsafe going to my car. And now I'm like debating on moving because that makes me extremely anxious, but what can you do? Anyways, do you have anything to add while you're all mic'd up? <laughs> uh... Anything you want to talk about? No. So I have to we're... pay attention to the road like a good driver. Okay.
Let's eat my food. Are you actually gonna go through with it? Mm hmm You've had long hair for a long time. Can you share your hair secrets? Like what? Your secrets to your hair? Guys, you wanna know how I do my hair? I just wake up, people ask me how I do it, and I just get it wet, and then I sit there and it dries it like this. So I have cowlicks in the front, so it just parts automatically. Yeah, he gets a lot of people ask what he does to his hair, <laughs> and he literally does nothing. I know, so easy. What if Styles was on like short hair? Hmm? This is the only time you'll ever catch me eating potato salad. But I caught you eating it in a different occasion. Okay, well I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to mm. them. We're currently at Jen's parents' new house. They just built the house down here, and it's really beautiful. Him and his dad built it, pretty much. He did what, probably like 80% of everything? Yeah. You impeach your elf like the four best. No, they're not. Bro, are you high? No. You just make stuff up and lie to me. Best. These are the best players. Okay, you ready? This is the tier list for best. Competitively, like this is the competition. Best. Lucina, Peach, Daisy, Pikachu, Pichu, Rob, Hero, Prom. Rob. Rob, Hero, Prom, Ridley, Inkling, Olimar. Did you say Hero? Yeah, he's one of the DLC characters. Oh, I don't even know who that is. Olimar, Ryu, Young Link, Toon Link, Wii Fit Trainer, Falco, Pyra, and Mithra. That's that was like 30 people. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's literally like just under half probably of the players. There's what, like 50? Bro, there's 82. Why do they add so many? Just under half. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. I asked if you were going to bring your switch right before you left and said no. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot what I asked if you want to remember you said no. <laughs> Do you have any final words to your head? Head? No. <laughs>future really quickly I just wanted to give a huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video not only sponsoring this video but also giving me and Jens the tickets to go and see Harry Styles so I have been waiting to see Harry since like his last tour dates you know everything got rescheduled and everything SeatGeek was so so helpful in the process um, if you guys don't know what SeatGeek is SeatGeek is an app you can download on your phone where they basically take tickets from all over the web and put them into one place so it makes finding good tickets a lot easier um, they also rate every ticket from 0 to 10 based on how good the tickets are. So if the... Jen? I thought someone was breaking into my house, like they broke into my car. They rate tickets from zero to 10 based on how good the seats are. If they are red, they're probably not that good, but if they are green, then you are golden. Since these types of events are now just becoming available again, and so many people are touring and everything like that, if you would like to get tickets off, not tickets off, you would like if you would like to get money off your tickets, you can use code Avery and get $20 off your first pair of tickets from SeatGeek. I will have links and everything in the code all down below if you would like to go and check it out, but yeah. Use code Avery for $20 off your tickets. Thank you, SeatGeek. Guess what time it is? Every once in a while, I have these moments where I just straight up come in clutch for myself. Like I have a problem and then I solve the problem on my own like by doing something for myself that I like, I'm not realizing that I'm doing beforehand, if that makes sense, probably not. But I just had that moment because I am on my period and I ran out of stuff and I'm stressed out about it, obviously. And I was asking my grandma if she had anything and she didn't. And guess what I just found at the bottom of my 
shampoo and conditioner bag. Oh, you can't see through it. Some tampons that I didn't know were in there. Now I don't have to go to the store. I came in clutch for myself because I somehow put those in there like a long time ago, I guess. I didn't know those were in there. God, I'm amazing. pretty much at the arena there's a lot of traffic which was obviously expected but I was stupid and I assumed that I could bring my old camera that I showed you guys earlier in I don't know why I assumed that I checked the website to see if you could bring bags in and if, if it said anything about like stuff you couldn't couldn't bring in because I know a lot of concerts you have to bring like a clear bag or something like that and it didn't say anything and then we were all talking about it then I was talking about it with my grandparents and literally right after we were talking about it I got a text from I don't even know the venue I guess somehow and it basically said that you can't bring any big bags and you can't bring cameras and a bunch of different shit um, there's also a, a football game in Vegas that has one of the teams from Utah so we've seen a lot of Utah people this is what I'm wearing I didn't even notice that it was similar colors to fine line until Kennedy pointed it out but um, it's from this brand called Saints Salt Lake City and it's really cute then I'm just wearing these baggy jeans and I have Converse that like match this color, but I don't know if I want to put those on or just keep my black Converse on. See you there. What did you think of the show? Harry looked cute in his pink little trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about the concert, but I think we should do that tomorrow on the way home. Yeah, because we're at Taco we can Bell. We just discuss everything because we're at Taco Bell because where else do you go? Bean cheese and rice burrito with potatoes. The best. We have about a two hour drive home, so see you at home. Okay, I'm back again. I just wanted to give a quick little recap on the night and everything. It was so much fun. The opener was Jenny Lewis. She was absolutely amazing. Um, I had never really listened to her before. Me and Jens listened to her in the car, like driving um, to Vegas just because we wanted to like, you know, get a feel for her songs and everything. She was really good. Her outfit was really cool. Her hair was really cool. She was giving me like Claro vibes a little bit. Um, her band was really cool. The crowd was like responding to her well. She was responding to the crowd well. It was just, she was really great and I really, really liked her. And then for Harry, I literally am like, I don't even know what to say because it was just so much fun. I was jumping and screaming and singing and dancing like the whole entire time. Um, he was out for like an hour and a half, which I feel like is a pretty long time. He performed so many songs. He performed What Makes You Beautiful, which was iconic, obviously. I was really sad that he didn't play To Be So Lonely. That's one of my favorite songs by him, but he played so many of my other favorite ones, including Kiwi, which I think is my favorite one. Okay, my camera's gonna die, I have to be quick. Um, Kiwi is like one of mine and Jen's all-time favorite songs, so that was really fun. He closed with that, really good vibes. Just good vibes. I feel like that's literally all I have to say is that it was so much fun, and... I love him. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to go check out SeatGeek. Code Avery for $20 off. Links and everything will be below. Um, peace out. Bye. Go follow me on Instagram. <laughs>